Canadian edition of the Africa Women's Sports Summit organized by Juliet Bewa received an overwhelming response in patronage at the Alisa Hotel as it was flooded by young female sports journalists who seek to sharpen their edge to take their place in the sporting world. My colleague Daniel Yeboah sat through the occasion. An event to bring together great female minds with rich experience in sports across Africa was put together in Accra on Wednesday. The first edition drew a large number of participants eager to learn from the speakers who shared their experience as women in the sports sector. The four-hour event thrilled participants with speeches by A's broadcaster Nanaba Namwa, sports journalist Eva Ochri, Carol Chabalala from South Africa and Uganda journalist Asha. Juliet Bewa, who is the founder of the summit, expressed her joy at the success of the maiden edition while struggling to hide her emotions when discussing the struggles women endure chasing stories in sports. In 2010, I felt like calling it quits after the um, World Cup because um, that was my first World Cup and I was a young journalist. You get to hear stories like back home, you are on field reporting and everything. You think, oh, you're doing a good job. The team, Black Stars, they were doing well. Everybody's happy in camp. You get to hear stories back home. Oh, Gillette is doing this, Gillette is doing that. It really broke me. So after 2010, I wanted to call it quits. I, I thank God I didn't do it. Super Sports and Premier League TV's Carol Chabalala, as well as Ugandan's Asha Kumugisha, offered a clear path for the young generation who wish to join the train in sports journalism. Um, it means so much, you know, especially for the young up-and-coming sports journalists to see firsthand. I mean, they've been watching us doing our thing on air, um, but now to see you in the flesh and to hear um, about your journey, you know, to hear about our journeys, how we got started in the sports industry, some of the challenges, um, just giving them some tips on what to look out for. I would say that everyone should have a vision. They must have a specific journey that they want to take as a journalist. You know, you can't just sit there and, and hope that you get a big opportunity. The opportunity, when it comes, it, it should find you in the proper place. Some participants told TV3 of the immense knowledge they have picked up from the summit and hoped it will be frequent. I think the summit has been great. It's an eye-opener on many fronts for a lot of us as um, a female sports journalist. You know that there's a lot of challenges when it comes to the sports industry and telling the story sometimes there's a need for fraternity. I mean that there's a need for you to learn from others who are doing tremendously well. Um, I can say I just learned a lot. Though I may not be interested in journalism as, as much, um, I just came here for the networking purposes and it's been fruitful to come here actually. In my view, it will help young ladies who want to venture into the sports journalism aspect. So they should be doing it let's say each and every year. Yes, it's been more than fruitful. I mean, I've been searching for an event like this for quite some time and I just found all the ones I saw were in the US and Europe, but to have one here organized by Miss Juliet is very phenomenal and I thank her for that. We all do. And we've learned, I've learned quite a lot from the various speakers. They all brought something different. Well, it was certainly a phenomenal event there. Congratulations to Juliette Bewa. But some more stories on Super Sports and Premier League TV journalist Carol Chabalala in an interview with TV3 Sports admonished female, uh, young female sports journalists to succumb, uh, not to succumb, I beg your pardon, to sexual requests from employers, but also uh, show their talents by working on their craft. I haven't really encountered that, but I know of many a situation where um, some of my other female colleagues have found that it, it's made the road easier um, to give in to some of the sexual advances to, you know, advance their careers. But after they've done that, their careers were very short-lived. Um, so for me, it's always been about my strengths, you know, my professionalism, and um, I let that shine. I let that be the basis on why it is that you'll give me a certain job, why it is that you'll ask for me to do a certain interview um, so that's that's all I've done is I've really focused on um, perfecting my craft being better and better and that's the first thing that will shine when you see me it won't be about what I look like and your sexual advances it will be about my talent and wanting to me wanting me to be you know on air and to and, and to take a particular job <laughs> 